Hello and welcome to Blackboard Learn Designing Engaging Content. The class objectives are to learn how to add media files such as images, audio, videos, and mashups, how to gamify and engage students through creating achievement badges, and learn how to integrate additional tools into your course to promote engagement. Let's talk about how to add media files to your course to make it more visually engaging. I'll start with how to add an image. First, go to the content area where you'd like your image to be added. I've labeled mine Engaging Content. Hover over Build Content, then click on Image. The first thing we'll need to do is add a title. Then we need to upload our image. You can browse your computer, your content collection, or mashups. Mashups will be discussed later in the course. Mine is currently saved on my computer. If we scroll down, we can see some options. You can set custom permissions or borders. I personally like to set borders to make my image more defined. You can have your image open in a new window, and you can set your date and time restrictions as usual. Once you have the option selected, click Submit. If we would like to edit the image, hover over the gray drop-down arrow and click Edit. We can see the same option menu appear. Another option is the alt text feature, which allows you to add a label and description that can be displayed and used by screen readers. Once you have finished your editing, click Submit to commit your changes. Now, let's look at some mashup options. If you use Flickr to store images, you can add them simply by using Flickr Mashup. You can also search Flickr for images shared by other people. In your content area, hover over Build Content, and under Mashup, select Flickr Photo. Type in keywords for the image you would like to search for, then press Go. From here, you can browse and preview a variety of images. Once you find an image, click Select. This brings us to the Option menu. You can rename your image if you like and provide a description. Then, let's scroll down to Mashup Options. Choose how you would like the image to be displayed as a thumbnail or embedded photo. I'm going to choose Embedded Photo to show you the difference. Scroll down to Attachments. Here you're able to attach a file or document to your image if you would like. Select the standard options that best fit your needs and click Submit. The first photo of the kitten is a thumbnail. As we can see, if we click on it, it expands and opens in a new window. I've added a second kitten photo. It is an example of an embedded photo. If you click on it, it opens in a whole new tab. Now, let's look at how to insert a YouTube video into a content area using another mashup. Mashups allow you to display just the video and the information you want to share without the distraction of additional videos or unnecessary comments. Hover over Build Content and select YouTube Video. In the search box, type in a title or keywords to search for a video. I am going to search for the Missouri State Fight Song and press Go. Now select the video that you want. Here you can name the video or keep the original YouTube title. You may also add a description if you'd like. We have the same mashup options as before, thumbnail, text link with player, or embedded video. We can also show the YouTube URL or show the YouTube information. To keep things less cluttered, I'm going to turn off show YouTube information. You can also add an attachment to accompany the video if you'd like. I will add information about the history of university fight songs. Again, we have our standard options. Once you have selected the options you would like, click Submit. Here we can see our video. And we can also see the document that I uploaded. Another way you can share a video in your Blackboard course is to access it from a video hosting platform like YouTube, Microsoft Stream, or another location of your choice. And now for a Blackboard tip. 
In order to keep Blackboard performing at its optimal performance level, it is recommended that videos be stored on a video hosting platform and linked to your course. Microsoft Stream is a video streaming service that members of the Missouri State Network can securely upload, view, organize, and share videos. Videos can be shared publicly within the organization with a specific person, people, or group. Microsoft Stream is included in our Office 365 portal. To access Microsoft Stream, go to the Missouri State homepage. From here, click Log In and select Office 365 and Email. You'll be prompted to log into your Missouri State Office 365 account. This will bring you to the Office 365 landing portal. In the search box, type in Stream and click to launch the application. To upload a video, click Create and choose Upload a Video. Drag and drop your video file or click Browse to locate your file on your computer. Add your video details, then click on Permissions. Here you can set the viewing permissions for your video. For this video, I am going to allow everyone to view this video. Add additional options if you'd like and click Publish. Once your video is published, click Share. From here, you can click to copy the web link for the video. We are now ready to return to Blackboard. Navigate to a content area and select Build Content. From here, choose Web Link. Enter a name for your link, paste in the URL, and include a description if you'd like. Next, add attachments if needed. Then, enter the web link and standard options that best meet your needs and click Submit. The video is now linked to your course. Click on the link to view the video. We now know how to make our content more engaging by adding media files to our Blackboard course. In part two, we will learn how to motivate our students through the Achievements tool. See you soon in part two. Thank you.